The stunning announcement from the founder of Patagonia, sharing that he's giving away, giving away the three billion dollar company to help fight climate change. Our chief business correspondent Rebecca Jarvis is here with that. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning to you, Robin. And it's extraordinary not only because of what he's doing, but how he's doing it. Most billionaires donate tiny slivers of their wealth while they're still living, but not the founder of Patagonia. He says his two adult children don't want the money, and he and his wife don't need it. So they're giving away the $3 billion company he founded a half century ago. With their signature jackets, vests, and pullovers, Patagonia has become one of the biggest apparel brands in the world. The activewear company worth $3 billion. But this morning, Patagonia's founder, Yvon Chouinard, making a landmark decision to give away all of his company's profits, estimated at $100 million a year, to help Mother Earth. Not a lot of people understand how serious we are about saving this planet. I'm dead serious. Schwinald deciding to transfer ownership to a trust and a nonprofit organization dedicated to combating climate change and protecting undeveloped land all around the world. The job of these nonprofits are is to invest this money into environmentally uh, friendly initiatives and into political candidates. Schwinald saying Earth is now our only shareholder. Even those who we call generous and think of as big philanthropists, they don't give away a huge fraction of their wealth. So this is very different. This is much more dramatic than we usually see in the world of philanthropy. The 83-year-old founder saying what Patagonia has been doing, donating 1% of their sales to climate change efforts, wasn't enough. And we needed to find a way to put more money into fighting the crisis while keeping the company's values intact. And he could have sold the company and given away the money or taken it public, which would have given him a lot of money to fund climate causes. But he believed that would have given up too much control. His kids will continue to work at the company, but the family will no longer take profits. Guys, the biggest question here is, do others follow in these footsteps? It is a fascinating experiment. Extraordinary. So fascinating. Yeah, it really sure is. is. Thank you, Rebecca. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.